And why does the beast howl? Because he's mad. He doesn't like anything good. He hates it when people are happy. Yikes. But there's a strong hero who eternally opposes the beast. If he's really that strong, why hasn't he stopped the beast by now? Because the beast is tricky. But the hero never gives up. Always just one step away from saving everybody. In search of a great meaning, he is born an ancient man. He came across a hostile city. Oh, shit. 
shape and spirit. Okay, I think that is enough stories for tonight. The storm is picking up to bed with you. It should be clear by the morning. I'm tired of waiting it out. You told me that you'd take me with you to the ruins. Well, maybe we just don't have much choice.
just yelled, be stacked. What are you doing here? You need help. No, you need to go back home. Fable, you don't realize how serious this is. Oh, I know how serious it is. You and Mom both came out here to uh, beat up wind, and frankly, I feel a little left out. Fable, your story about the beast, is it true? All of my stories are true. It took her. What do you mean? The beast took our mom. I saw it. No, I did. I told her. I told her not to go after you. I'm going after it. You go back home. But you know, Lars, you can't reason with it. I'm not going to reason with it. Well, all the worries are for you to have some help then. Fable, I don't want you getting involved. You didn't even bring any food. This is not some camping trip. Look, Mars, you think the beast has her mom, and you think he's going to give her to you. But the beast is a mean, mean spirit. He takes things just to make you cry, breaks things just to make you mad, and you, Mars, are an emotional mess. You're going to fall right into his trap. Wow. Thanks for the pet talk. Stars while you still can, Mars. The sky is black out with lights. The city ahead is full of dead stars that fell from the sky long ago. Listen and hear their still beating hearts. Lights still on, but nobody home. The ruins aren't empty, they're tended by ghosts. She did. 
She does.
someone's coming.
This is the curse of the beast, Monica? She was sad, so she just chose to forget? <coughs> that doesn't fix anything. That's stupid. Well, people are foolish, especially in grief. Stupid is what I said. Yeah, stupid. Where did you hear that story? An echo. Tell another one we want. Oh, you'll come with us then? Or as long as you entertain me. Follow me. I know my way through the room. Ooh, okay. A pair of lovers. And their love was so precious that they always were afraid that one day they may lose it. So they Mars? Uh, I just need a minute. 
your sister really believes in the mission. That you're going to find the beast and get your mom back? I know. I've heard stories like the one she tells. The beast takes things and destroys things. And he never tells you why. Seeking out the beast won't save her. I think you know that. Oh, Mars. No! Don't! Uh, Mars, uh, at least talk to your sister. What are you talking about over there? Nothing! Okay. Well, I have something very important for you to remember me by. I wouldn't be the one to forget. Ah, a show of loyalty. Uh, don't you think you should be writing things down in your little book because of your memory? No time. To remember me by. No thanks. I'll just remember. Oh, we're all putting in our hair. May I? There we go. Beautiful. Uh, aren't you supposed to be looking for your, your partner or something? Maybe I already found them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it. Thank you very much. So am I, but I say screw up! <laughs> what? I mean, they're not here. You're snoozy loose, so. So you're. Have you ever heard of object permit? No, time for what's not in front of me. Oh, so you're only flirting with me because you're bored and it's convenient. And you're hot. Oh, um, you found that funny. No, no I, didn't. I saw you smile. I didn't smile. I didn't laugh. That's called laughter. That's not laughter. That's not laughter. Mars, is everything okay? Am I crazy? Feeling like these ruins are looking familiar. Uh, no. The tower does seem further in the distance. Did we make a wrong turn? The direct path isn't safe. We have to take the outskirts of the city. How long is that going to take? It's not going to take that much longer. Time is kind of of the essence here. We need I, to be taking the most well, direct path. Well, I think I dropped my necklace. Oh, yeah. I'll go look for Were it. Were you wearing it? It's, it's too dangerous. You've been intentionally diverting us. I have. Why? Frankly, I think what you're doing is stupid. Fable, come away from her. Fable, wait. I know you like stories. Here's one you don't know. I don't think you'll like it, but I'll tell it even so. It's the best because it's true. And better yet, it's about you. About me? Yes. You and Mars. It's 
It's alright, love. You did what you could. I swear I'd protect you. They had already made their choice. I, I can still save the others. Amber, I'm sorry. I couldn't find your necklace. I have no idea where I'm Are you okay? I'm fine. I just... I just tripped. Where's Fable and Morris? They went on ahead. You ran out of time to find the person you're looking for, so we split up. Oh. I know it isn't ideal. I just, I wish I had known that would be the last time I saw them, you know? It's okay. I'm sorry. I should have told them to wait. You're trying to get me alone, Amber? Do you want my help or not? Of course I do. Because I'm beginning to think you don't even want to find this person. In fact, I'm not fully convinced you wanted to find them in the first place. I do want to find them. Sure. I'm going to find them. I know I've lost someone incredibly important. And it feels like there's a gaping hole in my chest. And it's hard to breathe, but it's also hard to focus on a goal I can't even see. So, of course, I'm going to look for them. Of course, I want to find them. What would you do if you couldn't find them? Keep looking. No, I meant if you couldn't get to them, what would you do? You mean if I found them? I mean, kiss, probably. No, if you <laughs> couldn't get them, Willow. This hypothetical is starting to sound a little bit too specific. This isn't the first time you've come looking for them. And you always end up alone. Maybe it's time to accept that it's too late. What do you mean, too late? You say you know the ruins. Do you guide everyone who goes through here? Do you know where they are? Has it crossed your mind that maybe they don't want to be found? You do that. Why have you been leading me in circles? Just let me talk to them. Amber. I know where they are. Wouldn't you like to know? Stringing you along has been fun now. What? what are you talking about? I know where they are, but I won't tell you. They made me promise to keep them from you. You must have misunderstood them. Amber, if, if you just let me talk to them. I know more about you than you remember. I swear I'll keep my vow as their protection. They are delicate and you are volatile. You cannot be trusted with something so fragile. Let them go here. I'll take you from here. Let them go here. Let them
someone else, and whatever I felt for them, I, I don't know, but for you, I can't imagine feeling this much for anyone else. And I know you only kept it for me because you wanted to protect me, because I think maybe you care about me too. And spending this time today together, singing stories with Mars, helped me fable a switch. I, I don't want to forget all that. Please keep those memories for me. Okay, I, I will. And I know this is probably a lot, but due to the nature of my being, I kind of have to move fast. And what are you getting at? I love you. You literally don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> You've known me for one day, and I was lying to you the entire time. Uh, apology accepted. That wasn't an apology. Well, I forgive you. No, and I love you. Well, I'm just trying to say how it is. I don't want your love! We spent all day looking for your missing partner, and you flip the switch just like that. I don't want your fickle love. I have a love that endures, and that is something that you will never understand. Willow. Don't cry. Don't do that. If you make me feel guilty, I won't be able to move on. No clean slate for me. Sorry, I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. But you didn't need to roast and toast me like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would give you everything I have. It's not enough. If you just gave me a chance, though, I'd find a way to think. I promise. Tell me what good is a promise from you. You don't remember a thing that you do. You say you love me. I wish that were true. But loving means nothing when coming from you. How could 
you lied to me about this. It killed our mother, and now you want to face it too? I'm not weak. Mom wasn't weak. I'm going to kill it. Are you going to try and stop me? I'm not trying to stop you. I just don't want to lose you, too. Why do you tell me, baby? You're the one person I thought would believe in me.
in there. What are you doing here alone, child? I'm not alone. Aren't you afraid? Should I be? Looks like you're afraid too, guy. Hiding in the shadows. Don't you know there's a beast who guards these ruins? I am not afraid of a beast. It's pretty, I don't know, I kind of feel like it's something you should be afraid of. <laughs> you're in an awfully chipper mood, child. What brought you into this valley? I, I've come to find the beast, actually. Ah, so your friendly air is a mask to keep the fear at bay. What will you say to this beast once you find it? Nothing. I've come to kill it. Because you fear it? No, because I hate it. What, you makes, <laughs> what makes you think I'm afraid? You haven't met it. It took something from me. I see. You reckon you get it back? I just need to find it. The ruins are dangerous at night, and I sense a storm coming. You won't get far without someone who knows the land. And I suppose that's you. What's your name? You may call me Mr. Stone. Ah, oh, that's very formal. I... I never asked. That's so short for a stone cold, I guess. There you go again with your sense of humor. <laughs> oh, shucks. Come along. Just about you and me anymore. Understand?
Indeed, and survive those. How? Give up your sight and see through his eyes. Offer a light when you hear how he cries. Do your best to understand the reason his heart beats. He'll believe it's his own plan and that's how. You'll find the She, I don't know, dumped me to pursue her dreams or something nice. I never would have known. I wouldn't have been happy 
with that. Is it wrong that a part of me still wants to go look for her? No. Oh, but you certainly won't find her. I feel this tightening in my chest. Guilt? Did you know her? Did she say anything about me? I don't know much. I know she really loved you. She thought that you radiated a kind of joy she couldn't find anywhere else. And she wouldn't say you were reckless, but sometimes you act without thinking, and your attempts to connect can be overwhelming. She said that? Not to your face. You think I'm overwhelming? No. I, I, it doesn't matter, okay? There's no sense of blaming yourself for something you don't remember happening. Blaming myself? Am I responsible for what happened here? Okay, well, Did I kill yes. her? Willow. Oh, I'm a murderer! Willow. Willow. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> There's just no right answer with you, huh? No matter what I tell you. What? Well, listen. I don't think finding more about the person you've lost is going to make you feel better. Could you at least take me to her grave? OK. duty to help them. Okay, how'd you get that gig? It's a curse. Well, I feel like you could just leave if you wanted to, right? That way you wouldn't have to put up with people like me. I wish it were so simple. The beast keeps me here. I cannot leave. Right, well, good thing I'm a kick its ass, right? So, do you usually <laughs> wander the ruins alone, or? Often alone, but less so recently. There are sometimes people who come through here, like yourself, who are merely passing through. And then there are others who choose to stay with me longer. Mr. Stone, does somebody have a crush on you? We care for each other. Mm -hmm. We two were heartbroken and desperate. We both had chasms in our hearts, and still so much love to give. Whoa. Take all that I fully devote myself to her before my heart still yearns for my ex-wife. Your ex-wife? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Stone, you've got some exciting drama in your life. Kind of a heartbreaker. I hope not. But that's the girl you really have to write. But what happened? I pushed her away. I had everything. And I gave it up. There was a woman who used to visit me in my home here. She was a storyteller in a sense. Although instead of seeing stories in people, she saw stories in objects. She was drawn to the ruins. She would visit here occasionally, studying the objects that the people of this city left behind. I began to look forward to her visits, and watching her from afar as she would... Hello? Oh, I'm sorry, I... There's no need to be scared. She was the first person I'd seen in as long as I could remember. What power is this, this little light? I do. Oh? There was a time when I powered this whole city. Is that so? Yes. Some of these relics suggest that the city was powered by fossil 
fossil fuels, not men with large egos. Uh, I, uh, did, did you think you'd impress me? Uh, I hope that maybe I would. Well, maybe I'd a little impressed. I didn't know anyone still lived here. Well, I gotta go. Of course. <laughs> you must get home. You're not gonna see me out? Where are And so, I kept the light in my home burning strong. But she didn't come back. I worried it wasn't bright enough. So I began to wake up the city. Is it me, or is it brighter here? It's brighter! Okay, a little smooth. I see you. Oh, I, I forgot it, but I brought you a relic I found. It's a knife that has your initials on it. I thought it might mean something to you. And she stayed for a time. But she had to go all the same. I hope you're happy where you are going. Don't you forget me. I'll be right. Even in her absence, my heart stirred in its frigid cage. I wanted to show her the great wonders of this city, the world it once was, the world it could have been. So I began to wake up more of the city. I think a part of me hoped that if I made it beautiful enough, maybe she would stay. It's beautiful. This is what the city used to look like. What happened? Didn't your relics tell you? I'd like to hear it from you. And so, I told her the tale of this city. Of great ambitions and great downfalls. I stretched the story as long as I could in hopes of spending just a few more moments with her. And it worked for a time, but all the same. Yes. 
I will follow you a league behind. I just need a little time to say and say goodbye. Here's what we're going to do. Take this. Go now. You're right. You have to leave right now before the water rises again. I promise you, I will be right behind you. There's just a few things I need to take care of first. Just trust me, love. You'll be there. I know you. You've never let me. just as I feared. The beast was following me, and I realized if I went after her, he'd find her too. I'd lead the beast straight to her village. So you faced him? No, not yet. I'm the one he's after, not her. I distracted him, and I returned to the ruins. Okay, hold on. Yes. So you just found out she was pregnant? Yes. And your first thought was, this seems like the perfect time to let her raise not one, but two kids by herself? That wasn't my intention. Were you not listening to the story? <sighs> okay, I understand. Sure. You stayed behind so that she could go, but why don't you just tell her, like, hey, um, I want to go with you. Maybe we can work this out. But the beast is, like, hot on my tail. I mean, who is leaving her alone for? She would have so stayed with me, and she would have been unhappy here. She needed to go, and I needed to stay. I'll leave the light on for you.
helping me out, right? It seems that I... So, what if after I destroy the beast, we go find your wife with him out the way you'll be able to leave him? I'm not sure she'd be eager to see me. Let me help you out. Show me things. Girl, I've got somebody to see. She's been waiting all night. Somebody to see She's been waiting all this time I'm not the man I used to be I hope she doesn't mind Let me help you out Just show my face Let's focus on the task at hand We still have a long journey ahead of us her as a person. Her voice, her face, what we would talk about, how she would look at me. I know there used to be something there once, but it's gone now. I mean, it's completely possible that she just totally sucked. What? Maybe you dodged a bullet. How did you say that? Completely closed off, emotionally hey, unavailable. Hey, stop it! The relationship was her fault. Hey, what is wrong with you? Okay! You don't get to be upset. Until a moment ago, you didn't even remember her. You didn't believe she was gone. We loved each other. Then why did you leave her? I didn't. You left her. She died. You abandoned her. I wouldn't have. How do you know you would or wouldn't have died? Maybe that's why she left me. Left okay, you! Stop with that! Stop acting like you know more than me! Maybe you do, but you never understand. I woke up knowing that someone wasn't there. Someone just out of reach. And now every breath I take is shallow because I've forgotten how to fill my lungs with air. And now I love to mourn someone I can't even remember. Do you know how it feels to wake up alone and reach for her? Thing is you, but I understand better than you know. There was a pair of lovers divided by a wall that we had built together, but alone I watched it fall. Next thing I
I became desperate. I knew that my only hope was deep within the ruins. I went to the ruins and I searched for the beast, throwing myself at his feet. I begged him to heal you and to restore your memories. And he reached out with the gentlest touch and said, Didn't you know? I'm the one who took them. And it's too late now to put them back. You did this to her? Yes. So fix her! I cannot undo what's been done. Then I'll destroy you for what you've taken from me! Hate me if you must, dear one. But know that I only did what was asked of me. What does that mean? She came to me not long ago, much like yourself, and begged me to take away her memories. Why would she want to forget me? Why would you let her? It's what she wanted. The memories she had of you, they must have been painful. I never met I never did anything to hurt her. I... Okay, okay. If you can't heal her, if we can't be happy together, can you take the love I have for her? It's too much. I don't, I don't want to carry it. Your love for her, I cannot take. With no place left to go, I stayed here in the room. And yet, she still managed to find her way to me. Always searching for something, and never knowing what. And always greeting me with that same damn heartwarming smile. Like she's never done a thing wrong. You're the loveliest thing I've seen all day. Symbolic wall. Okay. That 
I tried to break and in the process broke you instead. Guess so. I'm sorry. So. Amber. Taking notes. And for fact number one, no breaking symbolic walls. <laughs> I want to make things work with you. I don't want you to think you have to take care of me all the time. Staying by my side is not an easy thing to do. I don't think I'd stay beside anyone but you. Faith? tried to build a legacy, seduced by the fantasy of securing a future for my name. Why did I care more about my name than my life? No one remembers you. Don't waste your time.
this city. But I didn't do it alone. I fed on the foolish ambition of people like you.
by the way. You did? Yeah, you were talking about your lost partner. Meanwhile, you circled Kemper all day putting grass in her hair. <laughs> is this true? All of my stories are true. Grass is still here. How many stories about me do you know? You give me new ones every day. Well, thank you for remembering them. I know you, you never let me down. I don't want to start over. I will choose you again.
Well, I 